I've been in this black manosphere space, man, for a long time, going on four years. And many of us brothers who have joined this particular community, we are the unspoken black men, given those black men a voice. I'm talking about the guys who are middle class, collegially educated, the brothers that did the blue collar work, um, the guys that you typically don't hear from in black America. We are the unspoken voice, right? You hear from the so-called pookies and ray rays or the athletes, but you don't really hear from us brothers and up until now. And the consensus has been that black men like us, the collegiately educated, the well-to-do, the law respecters, black women tend to shun us for the pookies and the ray rays, right? This has been an ongoing argument in the black community for a long time, but we're now putting a voice to it. And I had a chance to ask somebody who's not in the community and a guy who has a lot of experience on the topic. That is one simple, the P right? Shout out to simple, the P the YouTube channel. And I had an opportunity to ask him this personally in on a YouTube video. And I'm pretty sure he wouldn't uh, mind me um, talking about this because I asked him straight up. I said, bro, listen, a lot of my guys, believe that guys who are pimps or guys who are drug dealers or guys who are thugs black women like them because these guys live risky lives these guys live life on the edge all right um how 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 does this happen bro? is there some truth to that because you know you you are experienced in you know in in the game and the life you have been at least can you can you talk to me about that he says Shay, because he don't call me oh Shay, call me Shay. Hey Shay, let me tell you something. He said, Man, women will do anything for a man if she likes him. He said, if I'm a pimp or if I'm a pastor or if I'm a lawyer, that doesn't make that that's not important what I do. If she likes me, she going to be okay with whatever I do. But the problem is, if she likes me, if the lady likes me, she has an attraction for me, what I do is secondary. It doesn't matter. What I do is not what turns her on. What is most important is that she's turned on by me. What I got to say, how I present myself, the game, the mouthpiece. If she likes me, all things are secondary. Now, that's that's interesting, right? Because I had another show with my brother Super Sly 75 last night, and we were talking about brothers who have to go overseas or who do go overseas to get women and why they can't get women in America or not the ones that they want. Sly, who is a different lifestyle, different, just whole thing, different than simple to pee, says the same thing. He's short, five foot five. He says, look, man, either women like you or they don't. Hmm? The women like you or they don't. We can get into all the complexities, educated lames in, 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 in pookies and red race. Does she like you? Now, Sly took it even uh, 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 to another I wouldn't say another level, but he brought in something else that I could tie back into what Sifu the P was talking about. He calls it, as we all know, the it factor. The it factor, okay? We know what the it factor is. Some things you can't explain, but some guys got it, right? I'm going to talk to you about sports. In the NBA, you typically need to be tall, typically need to be athletic, typically need to be superb at these things, usually, right? This is typically what scouts want. But then you get a guy like Paul Pierce. Then you get a guy like Magic Johnson. Uh, then you get a guy like Steve Nash, right? Then you get a guy like John Stockton or Jeff Hornacek or Carl Malone. You know, 
guys that you would not consider to be great athletic specimens. Don't believe me? We can change sports. Um, Joe Montana. We could talk about Tom Brady. I, I can give you a really good running back, Emmett Smith, a guy who was not the, a, a fast runner, not a breakaway speed runner. But the guy has it. He can play. He's not the prototypical tailback, right? But you put him out there, he can play. There's a YouTuber out there right now that's in black YouTube. You know him. Dynast Amir. Search for Uhuru. Search for Uhuru ran the 40-yard dash in less than 10.5 seconds in high school. Emmitt Smith could never do that a day in his life. But Emmitt Smith leads the NFL in rushing all time. Then I have to look at this and ask another question when it comes to women. Do you have the it factor? And it can't be explained, right? There are some guys who look like me. Receding hairline, lips a little ashy. But when it comes to women, women like them. I, I, I'm, I'm a nigga, I can tell you that right now. The top two or three ugliest dudes of all time, me, Craig Mack, and somebody else. I never really had those problems. Some niggas just have it. Women like them. You, I mean, like, if you even look at some of the pimps, man, you'd be like, man, how the hell does this pimp, Bishop Don Magic One, he got these women doing these things. Man, this is a guy, you know, I heard guys say, man, I can't believe, man, look at the guy. But how does he have all of these women, a lot of them women beautiful, man, one woman got shot. Went to the hospital, went back out on the streets selling coochie for Don Magic Wine. But, you know, you look at him and say, man, this guy ain't even attractive. Some guys just have it. Allen Iverson, he's a guy that's short. But he can play. Tim Hardaway, a guy that's short. Although Allen Iverson is much more athletic than him, but he can play. The question is... Does she like you? Do women like you? Look, and I think a lot of times in the manosphere, we we take it too far. And I, I, I and, and that means like not that you're trying to get somebody to like you, because that usually the turn off, right? And I'm not saying you're trying to get people to like you. But does a woman just when she's around you, is there something about you and your charisma and your personality? That make the woman like you. Because a lot of times, I'm going to tell you what, man. A lot of brothers feel like if I go uh, go to medical school, I go to law school, I become a real estate agent, I start having money, I start having fame, I start having wealth. This is what's going to make women like me and that that's going to make me be the guy that I want to be. And it's simply just not true. We know that all the time because how many guys have money and you end up finding out that, you know, the girl is end up dealing with somebody that don't have nothing. We see it in the black community all the time, man. It's because the guy that she's dealing with, she likes that guy. And a lot of brothers are just, let's just, just you know, we could just be honest, man. To some people, they're just unlikable. To some women, they're just unlikable. It could be a personality problem. It could be a social issue. And that's the, it could be a confidence issue. Because looks, come on, man. Like, we know that black community really care about looks. But those things. And I think that that's something that brothers really don't look at. It's, 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 it's a lot of women, man, that if you think about any any women, right? Black women in general. Black women who are attractive. The consensus is that they just deal with pookies and ray rays, right? You know, like let's just be honest. Black women that are that look good, I'm saying over seven or eight in the black community, they have dealt with all types of niggas. From dope boys to producers to big time real estate agents to I mean, listen, good looking women have their pick, right? And I'm going to do a video on that. They have dealt with 
all types of dudes, doctors, lawyers, whatever. At the end of the day, it's something about that guy that she likes. Beautiful women have dated a lot of spectrum of guys. It's not just the same type of dude all the time. And it comes to that point. Does she like you? Yes or no. And I agree. I agree with that sentiment. I think it's a lot of uh, a truth to that. But anyways, brothers, thank you so much, man, for supporting your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Man, I'm just glad to be up in the building, man. I got my sound set back up. I'm glad to be back here in Poland. Uh, do me a favor, brothers. Go ahead and subscribe, right? Hit the bell. Get turned on by these notifications, man. You know how we moving over here, bro. We just doing it big. And if you want to support Black Mail Media, patreon.com backslash Negro Manosphere in the first comment at the top. Support Black Mail Media, right? I'm trying to get this thing um, back on and popping with making content for the brothers. I really enjoy what I do. It's fun. Um, I haven't been making as much content because of my schedule. So I'm really only making content right now during the nighttime and not so much during the day. But as you know, the buffoon remains the all-time high. Peace out. I'm out.